Walker and you look at Donovan Mitchell and you look at the Eastern Conference player in Kawhi Leonard, uh, unbelievable numbers. But what I love is you see one guy on the right who seems to kind of fit everywhere, right? And the guy on the left we're seeing find where he fits best. He knows he could take dudes down one-on-one, -on -one, but I see a guy really trying to find a fit because we know, I mean, look, the, the IQ and the, the skills of the makeup are there. Yeah. The yeah, well, and and this is this is his second year. Yes. So, you know, I, re I remember my second year, you know, all that stuff that I was doing my first year when people hadn't seen me that much, oh, everything worked. Dude, they still couldn't stop that. Come on. No, man, but man. I came back my second year in the, fir the first month of the season, I went to do my thing, <laughs> and, and I remember Mo Cheeks like, nah, I ain't going for that move. <laughs> you know, so yeah, I think what Mitchell has gone through this, this second time around, what he's going through is he's having to develop that third and fourth go-to move. We all have our first and second move, which is like our, you know, our go-tos. But then the league... And the coaches are so good, they take your first option and they take your second option away. So then you have to develop a third and a fourth. And where he's at right now, he's developed his third and fourth. And once he gets really good at those, then he'll be able to come back and really do his thing at one and two. The other, so, the other thing, Zeke, is, and, and I'm curious how difficult this is and if you notice this, is watching jazz games, his knowledge of the rest of the floor is something you could tell he's working on and improving. Because he's never had an issue making moves and getting to the rack. But I think it was kind of finding himself, how can I make others better, yeah. right? And not just with an assist, but in fighting off screens and making sure to outlet extra plays. You're seeing more. The hustle was never an issue, but how long does it take for you to really be comfortable at the NBA speed and level, understanding what's going on around you? And this is where great coaching comes in. You, you know, when, when you look at, at Quinn Snyder and the relationship that he has with Mitchell and the trust factor that they yeah. have, that they've built, yeah. right, he can coach him and he can not only coach him, but he can critique him, he can criticize him, and he can push him. And Mitchell will take that and learn from it as opposed to thinking that this guy's trying to, you know, he's trying to, you know, diss me or, or, or whatever it is. I think Snyder has done a, a great job in coaching him the fact that he's now aware of his second, third, fourth player options as opposed to his first, second, third, fourth individual options. So when he comes off, his first read is, let me help somebody, right? Not, not let me get mine. His first year, he come off and let me get mine. Now he's coming off and he's saying, let me help you. Let me help you. Now I'll come back and get mine. And that makes a team so much more difficult to guard. As he gets a coach and as a point guard, which is really coach on the floor, you got to know the talent around you. They have players who can do specific things extremely well, but that team basketball has got to be there more for them, right? Than if you're yeah. sitting there and you're Westbrook and Paul George, I'm not saying they don't play it and they play great team defense, but one guy can go take over a game. James Harden can go do it for the Rockets. Even though Mitchell can, how much more important does team basketball become specifically with the kind of roster there? Well, well the battle for the, the, the individual player now is, is with himself and the stat sheet. So when I say with yourself, right? Yourself, you're judged by how I respond and how I play with you as a teammate. But a measured by the stat. All right, Dwayne Casey hot about something. Probably the loss, among other things. Uh, yeah, Blake had a few choice words for the official yes, also. Yes, yes. Um, but the game went to the Jazz, 194. A couple of things to point out. Uh, Joe Ingles always seems, even if he has a big night, to make the big shot. And Kyle Korver has been monstrous. You heard the stat there. Two threes made or more in his time with the Jazz at 12-1. and one. And tonight, 19 off the bench. He comes in and he does what he was brought there to do. Not only give them, you know, great bench point production, but also to give them confidence and to settle that young team down when they get, you know, kind of erratic. He comes in with that championship pedigree, with that old man, sage, you know, wisdom that he can give to the young players and say, hey, we're going to be all right. And he makes a shot and he does the right thing at the right time. Old Man Sage, is that what you're bringing me on this side? Yeah, Old Man Sage. All right, uh, from uh, <laughs> Old Man Sage to Big Man Bo Look at him.
talked about the margin for error with this team and and when you're in some of these tight games in your opinion down the stretch is there one thing that could have swung it the other way um yeah i mean we just got to be better i got to be better uh, a couple a couple turnovers a couple bad shot but bad possessions um you can't you can't really afford afford those things uh, against a team like this so um <clears throat> You know, we just got to be a little bit sharper. But, you know, I like the way we came in and competed and, and, and fought tonight. How much did the rebound disparity hurt? Um, Jazz had 55 rebounds. Colbert had 25 matching his career high. Uh, they did a good job on the boards. I think the, the thing that hurt worse was the free throw um, disparity. Um, it's tough to beat somebody when you give them uh, 18, 20, 20 more free throws. Um, you know everything else other than that was looked pretty pretty even um, at one point in the game as far as three point shooting all, all that you know it looked pretty even across the board obviously rebounding <clears throat> didn't but you know when they, they go to the free throw line twenty more times than us it's, it's, it's uh you know we're gonna be in a bit of a hole. How much did he need to get Ish back now with that second unit? A lot. You know he he just changed the pace. Um, obviously gives us another weapon, but um, just his speed. Um, and, and, and ball handling. Uh, he does such a good job for us. I mean, he, we've missed him a lot um, this past month or however long it's been. So uh, we gladly, gladly welcome him back. Did you get a sense earlier on that, um, that you guys were playing confident, playing free, and there was a little bit more? Yeah, I thought we started, started the game the right way. Um, and then we continued that for, for most of the game. Um, let it slip here and there. But um, I, I, like I said, I really liked our... our our attitude, our competitiveness, um, and our edge tonight. So here's the scenario. Game on the line, you need a three to win. Who takes the shot? In this open court short, three expert sharpshooters, Hall of Famer Reggie Miller, Dennis 3D Scott, and Kenny the Jet Smith, discuss who they would give the rock to in the clutch. Hey everybody, Matt here with three of the most accomplished shooters in NBA history, 3D, Dennis Scott, Kenny Smith, the Hall of Famer, Reggie Miller, and so of course... This is a shooting show. No, of course not. I was trying to figure out I want to, <laughs> I want to talk about, about shooting. Uh, one active player to take a game-winning shot, if you could choose, who is that guy? Steph Curry, or, or Kevin Durant, or LeBron James. Curry saves it, three, Steph Curry! Goes to the corner to shoot a three and a hit to tie it up. Shot clock is off. James pull up for a three. Rambo! Any more? To take a three to win a game. I, I take all three of those. Even LeBron James in terms of his, his ability to get it off. He'll get it off comfortably uh, because of his size, strength, and ball handling ability. So he would get it off comfortably. He doesn't shoot with the same accuracy as those other two guys, but he he gets a better comfort level at times than those two guys. For me, active, if we're just trying to get a shot, shot clock's going down, it's Kyrie Irving. His ball handling ability to be able to get to any spot on the floor and get his shot off to your point, he's gonna get a shot off. And he's one of the few point guards, well, there's a lot of point guards in the league, and can shoot the three. Definitely guys that I probably would have picked, but if I'm going with someone with ice water in their veins, need a shot, I'm going with Dollar Dame, Dame Leonard, mm, a guy that like can create that. his own shot, yes. or you can put him in a high pick and roll, shoots with depth, can shoot deep, right. and if you foul him, he's gonna make foul shots. Does the answer one. change for any of you if I say it's a catch and shoot three to win a game? Clay Thompson. Yeah. Catch and shoot, I would, I would, I would add Clay to a catch and shoot. Like, it, it swung back out to him, I would add Clay to that for sure. You know, it's funny, we were talking, James Harden. Ooh, yes, to I get mean, a bucket, yes. He could do, he could do, oh, yeah, my goodness, he, yeah, he, to he get a bucket, yeah. Shoot. I mean, we're right. not going to the dribble, dribble, off the dribble. Off the dribble, yeah. he's off the dribble no question he gets about it. He gets to walk and shoot yes. it. Yeah. <laughs> so he gets to, <laughs> 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 he gets to do the running, man. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'll make it harder. Let's go back in history. Any player who's ever played Ooh. to win a game with a three. Oh, he's, we're sitting right here. Oh, you're no, right picking. No, there's a lot of guys. No, no, I'm not. You could you could go last if you're not going to talk about yourself. I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Larry Legend. No. Three? To make three. a three. He said to make a three, right? To make a three. To make a three at the end of the game. Celtics have got three seconds. Two. Bird, a runner. It's good. 
I'm going with Larry Legend. I'm going with the guy sitting here only because the moment for Larry is always the moment. For Reggie, he creates more moments, meaning he's looking for an opportunity. I think at times you hope we get down through. <laughs> you know, so there's a difference. But Larry's like, no, I'm not even going to let you get up. I'm going to beat you. He's waiting for that moment. And so for me, watching Reggie over the years, I would have to say Reggie would be the guy I would be. Like, Good looking, Kenny. No, yeah. But and taking it a step further, with Larry, as much as we, you know, love his shooting, he's not going to get open in that situation where you, and I'm going to throw Ray Allen into the oh, mix, yeah. both of you guys are going to get open because you're probably the best running without the basketball, running off screens and getting open. Mm -hmm. now, I'm going to put, put Larry second, though. I wasn't like, oh, 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 oh. Kenny, Kenny, Larry's third. Ray Allen's is bugging. Well, come on now. Those but Ray Allen and Reggie Miller, we, we need a three. Larry's not getting open. Uh, Him and Ray are getting open to get that three off. Rebound box. Back out to Allen. His three-pointer. Bang! There's a guy that I would want to be in this mix because he's a leading three-point shooter in the history of playoffs over certain attempts. You know who that guy is, right? Kenny the Jets man. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I was Kenny waiting for you. Look at that. Let me get to my next question. Uh, you may have already answered it, but if, if in a theoretical world where I could play and I had to choose one of the three of you to win a game with the uh -oh. three, I'm where am I going? My, we're all going to pick ourselves. That's yeah, how confident we are. I mean, in all of our careers that we've been, we've all hit game winners, we've all hit buzzer beaters, so we know mm -hmm. we can do it. So if you're asking openly, I want to, as much as I love both these guys, I want to take that shot first. I, I would honestly say that these guys are, were better three-point shooters in this regard, that that was such a big part of their diet. Mm -hmm. And for me, it, it became a part of my diet later on. But I had to learn to be that. It is like Reggie Miller, we played at UCLA and in Paulie Pavilion and in North Carolina. We were like, guard him from here. Mm -hmm. right. That didn't come into my life until about my fifth year, fourth year in the NBA. It was always part of Dennis Scott's repertoire, a steady part of that diet, the long ball shot. I was catching up with you all the time. Right. Now, I just still think I can shoot the ball. <laughs> but I just know that you guys were, it was a better diet. We all have different strengths at different times. Sure. But at the end of a game, to a man, we're all going to say, put the ball we in my hand. Yeah. Kenny wants those shots. Yeah, yeah. Kenny wants those shots. Yeah. Yeah. Those shots. Yeah. We were actually in the biggest moments in Rocket and in Orlando That's basketball right. history. Hit a three-pointer to tie the game and send it to overtime right. in the right. NBA Finals. But before that, this dude, the he, regular, comes, the regular, the he comes right. back and hits another one. Back to back, yep. it was him and I. You haven't made my job any easier. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, how about this? Who are you going to pick? Ooh, if, you're yeah. if your life Ooh. depended on it and your family's life Ooh. depended on it Ooh. and they need you, they the need a three Ooh. to get them it's out. Open court, man. Come on, Jimmy man. Open court, I will man. answer the question. I've got bad news for you and my family. Well, I turned it over before I ever got oh, it. Oh, it. Oh, it, it the I will tell you this. <laughs> if, you you sitting here and out there. if you gave it to any of us, your family lives. <laughs> 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 <laughs>